Oh, oh hey guys. Is that all for my intro? What's up folks, today I'm gonna show you how to film and edit a teleport effect with your iPhone. And this effect is pretty easy to achieve and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So you can use this effect to transition from one place to another and is a great way to captivate your audience. And also, you don't have to take a bus. Now in one of my older iPhone filmmaking tutorials, I created the teleport effect where I transitioned from the forest scene into my studio at home. And many of you wanted to know how I created this effect. So today is your lucky day because we are going to create something similar. Oh, and make sure to stick till the end as I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway from last Friday's video, which is right over here. So stay tuned for that. So there are a couple of tools you need. You will need obviously a smartphone that can capture video. You will need a tripod mount adapter to mount your smartphone onto the tripod. And also you will need a tripod to keep your camera steady. What you also will be needing is a little bit of acting. This will also help sell the effect. For post-production, you will need Luma Fusion, which is a video editing app uh, that costs around 30 bucks. And you will also need to download a visual graphic from a production crate which I will leave a link down below it's the portal effect that we will later on import into our project all right so we're gonna start at this place and then we're gonna transition to another and I'm gonna show you the behind the scenes of how I do it so let's first talk about our camera settings so I'm using the iPhone 13 Pro Max which is now mounted on a tripod mount adapter on my Manfrotto B3 tripod. So I will be using the native camera app. Uh, we will be recording in 4K, 25 frames per second. 4K uh, allows me to crop in in post if I have to, and has more detail than shooting in uh, full HD. And I will shoot in 25 frames per second because I don't plan on slowing down the footage. The next thing you wanna consider is uh, positioning uh, your tripod and framing yourself. Now in order to frame myself, I will be using the uh, Apple Watch with the camera remote app, but you could also use the selfie camera if you want to. But as you know, the rear camera produces a much higher video quality than the selfie camera. Now, when it comes to choosing a location for your teleport effect, you don't want a lot of things happening in the background. Otherwise, this effect will be difficult to achieve. So I chose this place because as you can see, there are no people walking in the background, no cars driving around. And I can actually use this tree to create uh, a little bit of movement after I teleport to a different place. But I will show you exactly what I mean by that. So I'm now gonna frame myself in the shot and I'm gonna use my Apple Watch for that. Um, I'm gonna open up the remote camera app and this way I can easily frame myself. I'm gonna walk into the frame and then I'm gonna look at my watch and then I'm gonna kneel down. And when I do the teleportation, I sort of do a little bit of acting. I go like this and show the audience that the teleportation effect is about to happen. But I must make sure that I'm centered. So I'm actually going to uh, mark where I will be standing. Let's create the effect. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is actually record a clean plate without me in the frame. And what I'm also gonna do is actually move these tree branches to add a little bit of movement in the background as I teleport to a different place. And let's see if I can move all of these branches at the same time. And go! <laughs> So now that we have that shot, let's move on to the next one. So this will be our second uh, location I will be teleporting to. Uh, as you can see, there is a bench over there that I will be sitting on. So the first thing I did, I made sure I have my camera settings right and also make sure that the camera is leveled and I centered it so that the bench is positioned in the middle of the frame. Now, before I perform the act, I'm actually gonna gather some leaves 
to then throw in the sky once I teleport onto the bench. And again, that will help sell the effect. So I gathered a bunch of leaves and I hope it was worth the effort because uh, I just have one shot and <laughs> I don't want to gather all those leaves again. So first I'm gonna record a clean plate. The clean plate is gonna be around five to 10 seconds. And once I have that, I'm actually gonna position myself. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna lean forward and then throw the leaves up in the air. And while they're in the air, I'm gonna lean backwards or I'm gonna throw myself backwards and sort of give the audience the feeling that teleporting isn't really that comfortable. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. God. And there you have it. Now we have the shots. So let's head back home and edit uh, these footages together in LumaFusion to create an awesome looking teleport effect. So I'm back in my studio. Let's now start edit those clips. And for that, we're gonna use LumaFusion. And for a one-time payment of $30, you get access to all of its features. Currently, it's only available for iOS users, but in the future, uh, Android phones will be able to also edit in LumaFusion. Now, these clips are also available to download. If you guys wanna follow along, I will leave a download link below. So with that said, let's hop into LumaFusion. And I actually already edited the video so that you can see how it would look like with the timeline. So let's play that back first. So there you have it. I'm gonna walk you guys through it so that you can create your own teleport effect. So let's create a new project and I'm gonna name this one teleport effect tutorial and hit the plus sign. And we're first gonna import um, our clips into the timeline. So I'm gonna select photo and I'm gonna select this clip right over here and I'm gonna trim it to around here, just as I start to uh, teleport. And then I'm gonna trim this side as I walk in. Let's add that. And let's select the same clip again. And so I'm now gonna select the moving tree branches um, that will help sell the effect. And I'm gonna add it. And if we play those two clips back, this is what we have so far. Okay, we can actually trim the first clip to round, or we can actually extend it Boom, that's where we cut. And boom, all right. We can actually shorten it just a little bit around here. All right, that looks great. So we're actually gonna work with these two clips first. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add the visual effect, which I downloaded from Footage Crate. I will leave a link down below. It's actually free if you sign up uh, on their website. So I'm gonna head over to import and then select this clip over here. And that is the teleport visual effect that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna drag this on top. And the next thing I'm gonna do is double press it and then head over to color and effects and we're gonna head to keyers and then we're gonna select dark luma key. We can also adjust it. So I'm gonna reduce the roll off, also the erosion distance, and I'm gonna increase the edge blur radius a bit. And let's see if we can actually, just gonna reduce this. All right, that looks good. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to 
frame and fit. And I'm gonna change the um, blending to um, divide. And we can actually reduce the opacity to around, I would say, to around 20. Okay. And now we can start positioning the uh, teleport effect. So I'm gonna drag it a little bit down and increase the size a bit. And I can scrub to see how it would look like. I think this will look great. So we also have to time it right. So I'm actually gonna head back and I'm gonna position this. Let's see how it looks like. Zoom. All right, then whoosh. I'm actually gonna make a cut right here. So at this point, I want the teleport to disappear. So I'm gonna double tap on it and actually increase the speed to around six. Okay, this looks good. And I'm gonna trim it even more so that it starts disappearing. See? and whoosh okay and I want this to happen earlier so I'm gonna trim the first part and I'm gonna drag this over let's see whoosh okay drag it and increase this and whoosh and I'm gonna change the blending on the second um, teleport clip. I'm gonna head over to frame and fit and choose blending. And this time I'm gonna select screen. All right, and I'm gonna increase the opacity. Whoosh. All right, this looks great, boom. Um, now I'm also gonna add a motion blur to the effect. So I'm gonna select the Gaussian and I'm gonna reduce the opacity to one. All right, that looks good. And let's head back, let's see how it looks like. And boom. To make the transition smoother from the first clip to the second clip, I'm actually gonna add a cross dissolve. So. I'm gonna select this clip over here and I'm gonna hit the plus sign and choose transition. And I'm gonna trim it. So if we play it back, it looks even smoother. Now to sell this effect even better, we're actually gonna add a shake to our second clip. And before we do that, we're actually gonna add a letterbox first. And I will leave a link down below for you to download that letterbox, uh, which is a PNG file that you can add on top of your primary clip. So I'm gonna add the letterbox on top of the clip and I'm gonna stretch it all the way till the end. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually crop in on both clips so that we can create that shake effect. So I'm gonna double tap on the first one and I'm gonna head over to frame and fit and I'm gonna select size and actually increase it to 105. And I'm also gonna reposition it a bit. I think this looks good. And then I'm gonna head back so I'm now gonna copy the position by selecting the frame and fit and then selecting copy. I'm gonna move to the second clip, select it and paste it. I'm gonna make sure I only select frame and fit and then paste. Now we still have the same position. So now that we did that, we're gonna go to the second clip. I'm gonna double tap it and we're gonna create our shake. And I'm gonna move the cursor all the way to the beginning and I'm gonna select the keyframe and I'm gonna move one forward 
and then I'm going to reposition the frame like so and then I'm going to move one forward again and I'm going to reposition it again move one forward reposition it again move one forward and select my end position all right and if we play it back boom this is what we get might be a little bit too much so i'm going to actually delete the the last two uh key points let's play it back whoosh all right that looks great so let's head back and see how it would look like with the first clip in it See that makes it look really great now you can always adjust the shake if you want to so if you find uh, the shake too hard you can adjust it by selecting one of these points so I'm gonna select this point I'm actually gonna reduce it and position it a little bit differently I'm gonna select the middle one and move it towards the right and bottom all right, let's play back. Boom. All right. I think this looks better. Great. And that is about it for our first uh, teleport clip. We're gonna move on to our second one. And I'm gonna head back to photos and I'm gonna add the other clips. So that's our clean plate actually. And I'm gonna add the clean plate going to trim it maybe around I don't know two seconds or so and I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to select this clip and this is actually the starting point right here as I fall backwards and the ending position would be here. I'm going to drag that over here. Let's play it back. Boom. All right. And we're basically going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to head over to the other files and I'm going to drag the footage or this effect on top of the primary footage. I'm going to double tap on it. And I'm going to change the blending option from normal to screen. And now we can start repositioning this one around here. Let's head back. Boom. So I'm now going to start uh, timing this uh, teleport effect. So as it opens, I pop in. And I actually want it to close fast. So I'm actually gonna make a cut over here and I'm gonna trim this to around here. And I'm gonna double tap it, select speed and reverse, speed it up to around six times. I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna zoom in, zoom even further. And I'm gonna move this clip towards here. Boom. As you can see, it opens up and closes again. Now I'm also gonna add a blur to both. So I'm gonna double tap it, select color and effects, go over here and select Gaussian. And I'm gonna select one, looks good. I'm gonna select it and copy it. Just the color and effects, copy, select the second clip and paste it boom I'm actually gonna shorten this clip right over here I think this is too long so I'm gonna shorten it all the way around here all right and I'm gonna move this clip over here and this clip over here Oh. 
and I want the portal to open up quite quickly so I'm actually gonna uh, double the speed of it to around two and I'm gonna drag this over here and let's see how it looks like Boom. okay that looks great and again I'm gonna add a transition between those two clips so I'm gonna select the second clip hit the plus sign and select transition I'm gonna shorten it and as you can see boom. and as you can see it creates a smoother teleport transition I would say and we're also gonna add a shake to our second clip but before we do that um, I'm actually gonna resize this I'm gonna stretch the letterbox all the way till the end I'm gonna reposition the clip I'm gonna head over to frame and fit and again I'm gonna crop in to around 105 And I'm gonna reposition it. I think this looks great. And I'm also gonna change the rotation like that. I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna copy the position. I'm gonna select this clip over here and paste the position. Okay, boom. Looks great. Let's now add our shake to our second clip. So I'm gonna double tap on it and I'm gonna move the cursor all the way to the beginning and I'm gonna select the keyframe button I'm gonna move one forward I'm gonna change it move one forward again move one forward move one forward And the last one. Let's play it back. Oh, <laughs> that looks great. So the next thing we're gonna do is actually add music and a sound effect to uh, this clip because without it, it just doesn't sell the effect that much. So I get all of my music and sound effects from Artlist. Now, if you guys are interested, you can sign up through my link, which you will get two months additionally uh, for free. Now, we're actually going to head over to the other project since I already uh, color graded the clip and added music and sound effects to it. This way I can show you better how I uh, layered those um, sound effects. So this is how I layered my sound. So this is how it sounds like adding just the sound effect. Now let's play it back with the sound effect and music. So when adding sound effects to your video, you wanna add like whooshes, risers, and atmosphere uh, to your video. So I actually added birds singing in nature um, so that we have some of that ambient sound going on in the background. I actually also recorded some ambient sound uh, with my iPhone that I used in this clip. What I also did is actually added some um, risers as well to create sort of tension in my video. And then I also added these rise uh, hits where the uh, sound effect starts to build up and then as I teleport um, you hear this hit sound which again helps sell the effect. See that? Now I also added cross dissolve to fade in and fade out those um, sound effects. This way it will sound cleaner and transition better from a one sound effect to another. And if you're wondering how I color graded this video, 
I'm just gonna show it to you. I'm gonna head over to color and effects and I graded it using the original preset. This is the before and after. Um, I increased the midtones, uh, reduced uh, the highlight amount a bit, add a little bit of saturation and vibrance and made the shot overall a little bit warmer. And I also moved the hue slider a little bit towards the left to create that uh, orange and teal look a bit. Now, if you wanna know more about how to color grade with Luma Fusion, um, I have a video about it that you should definitely check out. All right, guys, that was it. That is how you film and edit a teleport effect using your iPhone. I find it really great to be able to do this effect uh, on your iPhone and it isn't really that hard to do. Now, if I would be using Final Cut Pro, I would definitely be faster, but um, yeah, I had a lot of fun creating this uh, short effect for you guys. So I will be now announcing the winner of the giveaway from last Friday's video, who is, look how nicely wrapped that is. And the winner is Mika Luna. Congratulations, you won the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the Telephoto Lens by Sandmark. I will be contacting you soon. And, oh God, this camera is heavy. I should have done it with my phone. And I would love to see how you put it into use. So again, congratulations. And I want to thank all of you that participated in this giveaway. Unfortunately, not everybody can win, but hopefully the next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, let's get back. So if this was helpful for you, make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to also subscribe to my channel if you're new. This will help me a lot. And if you haven't joined my private smartphone filmmaking group on Facebook, make sure to come along and share your work with others so that we can all grow together. Now, I also have a free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started making quality videos with your smartphone. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you guys the next time.